Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from the code called symmetric tree. It's an easy, we're going to jump right into it. Given the root of a binary tree, check whether it is a mirror of itself, i.e. is it symmetric around its center? So example one, we have the following tree. And if we drew a line right down the center, we see that it would be mirrored, right? The left over here is equal to the right over here. The left of this child equals the right of this child. The right of this child equals the left of this child. It is symmetric. So we output true. Example two, we have one, two, two, three, three. So is this symmetric? If we drew a line over here, it wouldn't be mirrored because while this left child of one is equal to the right child of one, the right child of two isn't equal to the left child of two. This is none. And similarly, the right child of this two isn't equal to the left child of this two. So we output false. And there are some constraints that my video is blocking, asking whether we can do this both recursively and iteratively. And of course, we're gonna be doing both. So we're going to start off with the recursive solution, but even before that, we're going to start off with examples. We're going to start really basic and work our way up like always, right? The first example we come across is going to be four. If I have just the root node four, is this a symmetric tree? Yes, it is, right? I have just the root node. If I drew a mirror line right down the center, it would be mirrored across itself. And if I had four with a left child of two and a right child of two, is this symmetric? Yes because the left over here equals the right over here. These two pairs are equal to each other. And if I have an even bigger example, say I have the following tree, is this symmetric? We see right off the bat, it is not. We're missing an eight over here, a node here, and we have that here. So this isn't symmetric, but taking a closer look at the other nodes in this tree, we have four and this is the root node. So we can't really pair this up with anything. This is by default symmetric we saw over here. But if we go a level below, right? we see that the left child of four equals the right child of four. So, so far, if this was just our tree like this, it would be symmetric. Now going a level further, the left child of this two equals the right child of this two and the right here equals the left here. So up until this point, we are still symmetric. What we want to see is pairs and set them equal to each other. We just want the left pair on the left side equal to the right pair on the right side and the right pair on this side equal to the left pair here. That's all we really need to check. So all these children, again, would be symmetric and one with six and one with six here would also be symmetric. The problem comes when one's left isn't equal to one's right over here. Otherwise, this would have been a symmetric tree. But even if one relationship, one pair isn't symmetric, then the entire tree stops being symmetric. So all we really need to do is check for symmetry in our tiny subtrees and apply this logic for all nodes in our tree. If everything is true, we output true. If it's false, we output false. And that's our logic. So let's go ahead and code this up. The first thing I'm going to do is define a recursive function. So I'm going to call this check. We're just checking if this is recursive and I want to check if my two pairs are equal. So this should be self here. What am I passing in? I'm going to pass in a left and a right. Now say for example purposes, I am passing in the left and right pair for these twos over here. How do I make sure they are equal and how do I continue recursing? Well, with the recursive function, we need two things, our recursive case and our base case. For our base case first, when do we stop recursing? Well, if left and right were none, if we went all the way to a bottom of a tree, for example, and our nodes were none, we would output true. It is symmetric, right? None is symmetric to none. So if left is none and right is none, if both are none, we return true. Now, if both are not none, now we wanna check if one is none and the other is not. So in this example, right, this was not none, but this was, so we would have outputted false. So if left is none, or if left is not none, then right is none, or if they both exist, but their values are not equal. So left.val is not equal to right.val, we return false. It's not symmetric. And if we still haven't returned yet, right, what does that mean? That means both nodes exist and their values are equal to each other. So up until right now, we are symmetric. Now we want to check nodes below us. So we're going to call this and check if again, this was our example, right? We were passing in two and two. We see that both nodes exist. Left here exists, right here exists. Their values are equal. Now we want to check left's left with right's right and left's right with right's left. So we're going to return solf.check with left dot left so over here and right dot right over here and self dot check with left dot right so over here and with this one over here so right dot left 
And that is it. That is our entire recursive function. So now we just want to call this. So we're going to call self.check and we need to pass any left and right pair that we want to check. In our constraints, we were given that we're going to have at least one root node in our symmetric tree. So we know that root has to exist. And now that it exists, we just need to pass in its left child in its right child. And we continue forming pairs from then on. So we're going to pass in root dot left and root dot right. So let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now before doing our iterative solution, let's quickly do a walkthrough of this solution with example one over here. So just going line by line, the first thing we do is call self.check with root.left and root.right. So what is root.left and root.right? Both of them are two, right? Root.left is two and root.right is two. So we're in this function now and we're passing in left as two and right as two. The first if condition checks if left is none and right is none. Neither are none, so we don't go in here. Now we go into this condition. Left is not none, right is not none and their values are equal. So neither of these conditions are true. So we can't go into this if now what we do is call this. So before we can return to our function, we now need to process this new call and we're going to be passing in left dot left. So what was this left's left? That was three and our right's right was also three and our left's right is going to be four and our right's left is also four. Before we solve this, we read this one first. So that is what we call. We're passing in left and right with this node over here and this node over here. So we're back in this call again. Both of them are not none. Neither is none and their values are equal. So we don't return. And now we call this again with their left and right children. So what is our left left child? Well, this is none, right? There's nothing over here. So this is none. And our right right is also none. And same with our left right and our right left. Again, we're going to be calling this over here first. So we're passing in self.check with none and none. We go back in this function. Now this is true. Left is none and right is also none. So we return true. This is symmetric. So we go back to our caller returning true. Now that this is true, we now need to check this condition over here. The other half, we want to check whether they are symmetric. Both of these are none. So we know this is also going to return true. So right now we have true and true, which ending two trues together, we get true. So the check with three, right? The subtrees that start with three and beyond, this is entirely symmetric so far. So this is all true. Now that the threes are true, we still need to check these nodes over here, this pair. So we go back in this function calling left with four and right with node four again. Both of these are not none and their values are also equal. So we don't go in this if either. And we call this again with their left and right children. And we know left, left is none, right, left is none left to right is none and right to left is none. It's all none. So we know once we call this again, we're going to return true for both. So we're basically returning true and true, which outputs to true. So self.check with four and four is also true, which means this is entirely true. And we return to our caller of two and two. The output of this is now true. And we output true because this is symmetric. And we see that over here, example one, we output true. Now with this recursive solution, what did we do? We went all the way down a path, right? Checking pairs. Once that was true, we went back up and down another path. This was a depth first approach because this was a recursive solution. How do we implement this iteratively? So I've gone ahead and reset our code. Now we want to solve this iteratively. Now this is different than our recursive solution because our recursive solution was a depth first approach. Before we could return from a call, we had to figure out another call. And then before we can return here, we need to figure out another call. We go all the way down a path comparing pairs. Once that's true, we go through another path and then we go back up to return true or false. Now with an iterative solution, it is not a depth first search, but it is a breadth first search. So we're going to go level by level and we want to compare pairs. So what we're going to do is have a stack and in this stack, I'm going to store a tuple, the pairs I want to compare. So it's going to be root dot left and root dot right. A while stack, while there are still elements in my stack, it is non empty. I'm going to pop from stack. So I'm going to get this last element that is in stack. This is a tuple, so I can directly assign values in my tuples. I'm going to do left and right. So I get the two values in my tuple right away. This is going to be stack dot pop. So I get this tuple and I assign left to be this first value and right to be the second value. Now, what do we do with our two values? It's the same logic. We have the pairs that we want to compare. So we want to check if they are none. So if left is none and right is none, we continue. And if you haven't seen a continue before, all it is, is we are not going to go in the lines after this. If condition, we just continue on with our loop. If that is not the case. So if both are not none, 
Now we want to check if either is none or if the values aren't equal. So if left is none or right is none or left.val is not equal to right.val, we return false right away. It's not symmetric. If that is not the case, then we know our two pairs are equal. And now we want to figure out what other values to check. So say we were on these two pairs over here, two and two are equal. Now we want to append to stack two's left and two's right and two's right and two's left. So we are going to append to stack the tuples, the pairs we want to compare again. So stack dot append, we're putting in left dot left and right dot right. So if we were dealing with these two as our left and right, we're comparing our left's left and our right's right. And we are also going to append to stack another tuple of left dot right and right dot left. So left dot right and right dot left. We just added to tuple a pair of three, three and a pair of four, four. And if we go through this entire while loop without returning false, that means all of the pairs were symmetric and we return true. So let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now, before leaving, let's also do a super quick walkthrough of this as well. So this time let's use example two as our input. So we're passing in root being one and going line by line. The first thing we do is initialize stack. Now this is going to hold roots left and roots right in a tuple. So there's going to be no two and two. Now while stack, this is true. It's not empty. We pop off from stack and store those variables in left and right. So left is going to equal to this first one over here and right is going to equal this two over here. Now, since we did pop, we removed that last element. So right now stack is empty. We make a check if left is none, right is none. That's not true. We don't go into this if. Now we go check here. Is left none? Nope. Is right none? Nope. Are there values not equal? Also not true. So we don't return false. And now we append to stack a tuple of left dot left. So what is our left's left? That is none. So we're appending to our tuple none and right's right. So our right's right is three. And we are also appending to stack another tuple of our left's right, which is three and our right's left, which is none. We are back in this while loop and there are elements in the stack, so we do go into it. Now we pop off the last element in stack and save that as left and right. So our last element is this over here, popping that off, we save left as this first value here. So left is three and right is none. Now we check this condition. If left is none and right is none, we just continue. That's not true, so we don't go in this if. Now we're over here. If left is none, that's not true, or right is none. This is true, right is none. So now we return false. It's not symmetric. And that is it. We just exit at this point. And that's correct, right? We were expecting a false over here. So this is the iterative approach for symmetric tree. Now talking about space and time complexity for time complexity for both solutions, we would be comparing every single node in our input. So that's going to be O of N for time for both a recursive solution and our iterative solution. Now we did do both approaches. So if you have any questions with either, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.